So every once in a while we get a product in our FPV hobby that just really hits the jackpot. Something that performs as promised and is at a, a good reasonable price. Up until now, I pretty much have used the Runcam Micro Eagle exclusively on all my quads and my FPV truck here just because it just looks the best to me but there's still that shimmer and artifacting and stuff like that that a lot of people don't like. Um, with the HDO2s, um, the Micro Eagle really comes to life. It's just super bright and vivid and vibrant and everything else. So when I saw the advertisements for the Runcam Phoenix 2, I got kind of excited about this. Now, I saw that uh, I never got one of the Oscar editions, which was the Phoenix. So make sure you are careful when you're looking at your buying decision here. But the Phoenix 2 at 27 bucks is a steal in this FPV hobby. And the way that this thing works is just great. Um, they're kind of in short supply right now. I saw that Heli Nation has them, uh, you know, with the Chinese New Year, coronavirus and all that stuff. Manufacturing is kind of bad and I made sure that I opened this thing with gloves and wiped it down even though this stuff is made in clean rooms um, you can never be too careful these days but you know that they, they they make a lot of promises here they talk about low, the great low light performance rich natural colors and reduced lens flare lower latency and everything else like that. And I've seen some videos from Painless and RC Shim, uh, but I really never got a good feel of how the camera actually looked and performed. And that's what we're gonna do here today. I'm gonna show you what's going on with that. Now, I did put it on my FPV truck. I, don't, I didn't put it on a quad yet, but I wanted the best camera possible for this thing so I could see where I'm going and see obstacles the best when I'm crawling in the woods. And this thing has surpassed my expectations. Uh, I still have the remote actually hooked up to it here and I've got it zip tied here on the back because there's so many settings on this thing that you can play with, it's just ridiculous. So when they say they got this extra processor in here, they're definitely not lying about that. Um, it's, you know, the bigger sensor, Lower light performance, I would have to say that it's just as good as the Micro Eagle. Doesn't do that good in dark. It does need some ambient light or stuff like that to work with. But luckily, since I have a light bar and I have headlights and everything like that, it really does a good job um, for the first, like, you know, five or six feet in front of it, which is pretty much all I need. The rest of the image, of course, around that will be shimmery and noisy and stuff like that but uh so far definitely the best so let's go into some uh running video here and i'll show you exactly uh some of the settings and stuff that i've been changing and what i've noticed and uh, why i definitely don't hesitate to recommend this especially for 27 dollars. this is definitely a bargain all right so let's dive into the settings this is your stock setup right here which you can see there's kind of some weird flickering and stuff like that going on, but after adjusting stuff, uh, I've been able to fix it. I had to turn down brightness. You have all kinds of automatic gain control and stuff like that built into this camera. Just a lot of stuff here. Um, white balance, of course, we're all used to that. Day and night, you can run black and white or color. The image enhance, this is where most of the work I've been doing is. And all of this is set to auto and you get a really weird image on auto. It's kind of a stuttery type of image. And I found the contrast was a little too high. So playing with that and the goggles and stuff, turning down sharpness uh, just because it seems to be a little too sharp for me. And I also wanted to turn down the colors a little bit. And the 3DNR is something that I've really been playing with a lot. The auto feature I, again is I think what is giving this weird uh, kind of uh, stuttering latent look. It's uh, really a weird uh, setup, but uh, you know, change that. Video settings, that's where you can change your aspect ratio and everything like that. So this is a little bit of a flight uh, through a Micro Eagle that's on my uh, 
six inch, my five inch uh, freestyle frame and you can see how the sky and the sun are a little bit more blown out and there's more coloring and shimmering going on you know this camera has been adjusted to really I how I can't adjust it pretty much anymore this is really what I enjoy flying with at this point with that camera and this is the micro running on my truck and so now let's take a look at the Phoenix here and right off the bat you can see beautiful contrasty for my liking some people can probably turn that down a little bit going into the Sun everything is just great uh, no problems there was a little bit of flare there it's like a little bit of a green flare you can kind of see so they didn't really eliminate that problem all the way but when we get into the sunshine you could just see that there's not that excess color sharpening the, that we have and you know we're going through some gaps here and there's a lot of straight edges and lines and you can see there's you know it's pretty smooth it's not super jagged compared to normal cameras um, and then here in the shadows and you can see the difference between the shadow on the left and the sun on the right and how everything is just neutral from all the way across and we're going into the sun there there's not you know any crazy changes good detail and everything just going down this river bank no problems at all seeing what I was looking for really just super impressed with the way that this thing handles any lighting condition I uh, can't wait to get it on a quad and see uh, how it does I'm expecting it to be just as good because just the way everything looks you know going back into the Sun here you can still see great shadows and we're gonna go from a bright Sun here uh, into the shadows over here but you can still see shadow detail even in the distance there you know things aren't black and dark you can actually make out colors and all kinds of stuff and you can see driving in here into the shadows everything is still good bright again not as much as that of that crazy color pixelation that we're used to and everything like that it's just really really nice like I'm pretty excited especially for the price so we're I got another one of these on the way we're gonna throw it on one of the quads see how everything looks but until then I'm just gonna enjoy this thing driving it around on my truck in my woods and wherever else I can go so thanks for stopping by guys we'll talk to you later